Hey, everybody. Mark here. want to do a post-race recap of what happened to the car and some things that we found out, um, good and bad. So first off, let's go over to the body. So this is the body. If you guys didn't see, we took third place at the Atlanta 2015 Red Bull Soapbox Race. Uh, we had a great time losing to only about a second off the leader. Um, ours was pretty wide. Um, so we had some aerodynamic drags on it, but we had a great time and we learned a lot. So first off, if you guys saw, we went down the course straight as an arrow. We had a very good ride. Um, when we got down to the end, we pulled the brake and the hay bells were really close and we hit right into a hay bell. Um, something that we learned was no matter how well that you brake, if you're going at full speed, you're going to hit a hay bell. Um, so when we hit the hay bell, our front end actually delaminated from the body. And that's not bad. Actually, that's probably the best case scenario. But you can see the front end right at the joggle point, it delaminated. And, uh, you know, nothing too bad. We can go and fix that um, walking around. Um, we did we did uh, have a little bit of, uh, you know, a little hit right here went past. Um, but overall, it looks like there was a small crack that did propagate um, but I think there was a crack already here um, so that just that crack just grew uh, but overall the front end looks very good um, when we were at the race um, we actually put these guns on last so we don't want to drive with them um, something that we did um, all these guns were 3d printed um, the front piece is 3d printed the middle is three quarter inch pipe um, and going around, we were going to put some very high bond on it, um, but finally ended up actually putting a screw on the inside. So if you can put screw hardware um, to go into the plastic, highly recommend it. Um, that's what kept the guns on. Um, that's another thing that we learned. We did have a GoPro. One of the GoPros mounted right here. When we took the hit, this is a, this is aerospace grade uh, epoxies. But the body flex so much that it uh, it actually popped the plastic off. So when you can put screws in, put screws in to lock stuff down. Um, but going around, everything else looks pretty good. The body looks fine around all other sides. Um, again, we learned our, as you guys will see, our spoiler used to be up here. It delaminated from that surface and just popped off. So use screws or hardware. Uh, when mounting objects, uh, don't rely on glue. Um, so that is the body. We can go back around. Everything looks pretty good. Looks like there is a little bit of rash. I think this, let's see if that's just dirt. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit of some, something. Um, we did when we drove home. I think that was touching the cab. Um, but overall, pretty good. So let's go to the um, body. And kind of or go to the chassis and see what happened. Um, so when we did hit um, at the end of the race, uh, we delaminated our body, delaminated and pulled off. So you can see we had four connection points, two, three, four. They all popped off. Um, nothing bad. Uh, if you guys see, we didn't really put any nuts and bolts into the body um, to keep to take it on and off faster. Um, all we have is just simple C clamps worked really well and uh, you, you can just use them and then uh, you don't have to worry about it because we were worried that when the body moved around we'd have some issues so we just c clamped it in and these held i mean these are still holding so it might be a really good option instead of bolts uh for some of your objects um, let's go around to the front end uh another video on the website you guys will see um but when we turned hard right the welds for these harbor freight wheels broke you can see that it's broken. This happened after the race. We don't know. Maybe during the jump it could have occurred. Um, but it did hold and it was just fine. But you can see that weld line right on the inside broke. Going around into our, into our brackets, they all look just fine. Now, I didn't have the best welds. Um, but they still held just fine. So, this is a good setup. If you guys have anything that you're going to do. It's just a... A, uh, a 5 8 inch bolt uh, welded onto a 1 inch by I guess 5 8 inside 
and then we had our trailing arms. We have a really unique linkage system. You guys have probably seen the other videos, um, but we drive one of the wheels and then we have this, the bar that actually connects both of them. That keeps everything straight and true while you're driving, giving us the most speed. I mean, we were a flying brick, um, but we were straight as an arrow, did not have any driving issues. So I'd highly suggest that. Um, so we'll go around. So the steering's fine, minus changing out the wheel. I mean, our steering is still solid. No problems with the steering. Um, going down to the seats, it looks like uh, there was a small crack that did propagate here already in the seat, but I guess maybe when we're pushing up at the end, um, it occurred. Let's go around the brake. The brake is just welded. You might let's see if we can see. Here we go. So you might be able to see right there, maybe underneath. And it's just a welded uh, piece of uh, pipe. Um, and that's the brake itself. But if you pull on it, it's still nice and strong. Um, so this is three quarter inch uh, cold rolled steel. What I like about the brake is there is some kind of, there is some flex to it. So you can kind of see there is some flex. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, but let's go around. Everything, all the other welds look very strong. I mean, we did not have a problem. This is one inch pipe. Uh, we had over 500 pounds in the car. We probably had more than, probably almost had 600 pounds of the car with myself and Rory uh, riding. Um, but everything held without a problem. Um, let's walk around to some of the other items. Um, this is our spoiler. It, the spoiler came off. I'll lay it up here. Spoiler came off twice. Once on I-16 driving here, or driving up to the competition, and the other time um, during the competition, you'll see it actually comes off right after the jump. Uh, but it, it hit the road twice, 185 and one at probably about 40 miles an hour. And besides some surface scratches and the and the skin delaming from the body, everything else looks pretty good. So not not really any big problems. So we have a little bit of road rash right here. But everything else looks pretty good. Um, we did make some brackets for it. The brackets still look really strong and good. So there's our brackets. They all look good. And uh, this is one of the guns. It was pulled off um, by uh, some of the vent staff when they were moving the car. Um, it does look like it's about 50% infill. Um, it did break inside of it. But overall, it still looks pretty good. I probably can rebond it back into place. Um, but it did survive the jump and the ride, so that was awesome. But uh, some some stuff that I learned during the race, though, um, our wheels were good, but they could have been thinner. Um, the fastest times down the hill were soapbox cars with solid wheels. Um, some of the wheels that were solid, though, um, in the jump totally crumpled you might have seen um you might have seen sweetwater in their jump um they jumped landed on the back back wheel and it just crumpled they were going very fast they were doing very well um so if you do go with more solid wheels uh, make sure that you have some kind of um suspension in your car um the suspension could not doesn't have to be the frame suspension it could be on the seats like how we have a piece of wood there um, we easily could make some suspension for the seats or just something that would give us a little bit of cushion when we hit uh, because the frame is only 176 pounds. Um, the two passengers are actually the most amount of weight. Um, so you could make some kind of suspension on the seats, um, slinging them, um, and that would probably help out and make the wheels more solid. Um, but, I mean, the steering was solid. Um, our car is... Not not as narrow as the other ones. The other ones were probably uh, three quarters or, or two thirds the width of our car with a tandem style seating. Um, we did like our seating, but we probably will switch to a tandem um, in the future. Um, but that's it. If you guys got any questions, please leave them down at the bottom and I'll try to answer as many questions as I can about our car and about the race. But that is it. I hope this has helped some of y'all out. And till next year.